Do you have problems with a swimming pool? Time is scarce. Nikolai Bukovala owns several hotels. Everything must be ready before the summer guests arrive. His biggest headache, lack of workers. Nothing works without foreign workers. I myself don't know how to convince a Romanian who works in France, for example, to come back. Sometimes she would like to sell everything. I don't know. Every morning I ask myself, what's next? He's in the middle of a crisis that began years ago, labor shortage. Since Romania joined the EU in 2007, many Romanians have emigrated to Western Europe. They are needed here at the Black Sea coast and beyond. An estimated half a million Romanian jobs are unfilled. The reason is obvious. The salaries that Romania offers are not attractive to this generation, and that's why they go abroad. These people are here to fill the gap. Workers from Asia, Nepal, India, Pakistan. Those waiting here in front of the Bucharest immigration office have paid up to 6,000 euros to job placement agencies in their home country to legally immigrate to Romania. They have visas, but there are problems with the residence permit, the TRC card. Two months in the queue, I never take my ID, what's happening? My visa is only three months, visa expired and uh, need TRC card. Only, only, only today. The immigration office is overwhelmed by the government's new strategy. Romania wants to grant 100,000 work permits for non-EU citizens this year. In 2017, Romania gave out a mere 5,500 permits. For Romanian employers like Nicolae, the process is slow. His hotel kitchen is still understaffed. Do you cook rice? No, potato with meat. Udayanga Disanayake and his colleague Samir are both from Sri Lanka. They have never worked as cooks before. The vast majority have not worked in the industry. The agency tells us that they already have experience, but that's nonsense. They haven't worked anywhere. Or if they did, they haven't worked in the position where we need them. The Romanian colleagues train everyone as quickly as possible. Uday, are schnitzels ready? And the chicken wings? Yes. Today they are preparing kashkavalpani breaded cheese. A classic and easy Romanian dish. Since we came here, we learned a lot about Romanian food. They have been working here already since last year. It's unusual and a stroke of luck for the kitchen chef. I'm happy. They both stayed in Romania, unlike others who just left. It makes things a bit easier for us. They have adapted and we do not have to start from scratch. Many try to move undocumented to Western Europe using Romania as a springboard, the staff explains. Udayanga wants to stay, he says. He earns 500 euros a month. He shares this room in the hotel with his colleague. The 26-year-old misses his family, but going back is not an option. I love Sri Lanka, but the thing is, the uh, economy is not that good. It's really hard to survive. Some days we have, I prepared some food and sold it out for neighbors. We had somewhat that kind of li life over there. Trees? Mm -hmm. He studied tourism, he says, but only earned 50 euros a month with occasional jobs there. Romania appears to him as a country full of opportunities. They are offering so many jobs for Asians. I see so many people who are doing fast food uh, deliveries, restaurants, and people like us working in hotels. So many vacancies over here. He doesn't see much of the beach. During the busy summer months, he works seven days a week and sends most of his money home to his parents. One day, he says, he will have his own business, perhaps in the UK. Nearby, 
workers from India are building this high-rise with luxury apartments. Off-camera we learn that here five people share a single room. And not everyone building Romania's future wants to stay for the long term. Higher salaries in Western Europe for the same job are tempting.